Uh, head coach, uh, actually, you want to give like a, just an opening statement? Uh, sure. Uh, you know, given uh, the, the, the circumstances, the weather, um, I can't say how thankful I am for so many people in our department that really kind of pitched in to make the game happen. Uh, we had a lot of people, our facilities guys, our administrators, uh, you name it, that came in super early and kind of made everything like work, which, you know, once you're here, it seems like it's no big deal, but behind the scenes, so many people uh, pitched in, so we're thankful for that, to get the game in and get it today, um, and obviously on senior day, uh, to get a win for the seniors, including John and, and all those guys that mean so much to us, um, really happy for them, and then on top of that, to get so many guys in, which is really hard to do, given the schedule we have, and, and obviously we have a lot of respect for Albany. Um, but to, to get so many minutes for those guys, and I thought a lot of them showed very well. Uh, just an awesome day, um, and, and really, again, thankful for the efforts of so many, including our players and our staff, to, to get the W, um, you know, and then kind of move forward to a really good team next week. Yeah. But how similar was this to the situation at Notre Dame a few years ago? Um... Um, oh, just oh, moving inside. Moving inside. Um, I mean, I guess knowing that, like, being in this environment and having been in here the last few years, it seemed like an easier adjustment, and it is a regulation field, so I think there's a lot more comfort with that. Um, you know, going in the day before and just getting one day in, it is a little, little unique. Um, the field is a little tighter. So um, that was an adjustment. So I think there was less of adjustment this year. Um, I think even um, going up to Syracuse and playing inside, um, you know, kind of having that backdrop and um, having played inside, I think that, that was helpful too. Ted? Yeah, exactly. Uh, can you go through that Yeah, I mean, you know, the I think we were we benefited from a couple early violations um, at the faceoff backs, which got us some you know extra mans and, and a bunch of possessions. Uh, but I thought our guys did a really good job. They played very maturely, shared the ball, we moved it. Uh, I thought we shot incredibly well, put the ball in really good spots um, against a good goalie, um, which created some momentum. Um, but to have the benefit of two violations on a faceoff guy within the first four minutes. It, I know what for us that would put us in a really tough spot because your guy every time you violate it's a man up for the other team so you have to be super careful so you, it, it puts you in a really tough predicament so uh, sometimes it goes against you today it obviously went for us uh, but to get all that momentum started and then I thought our guys were able to stay focused and dialed in instead of relaxing um, and then it's a credit to our leadership of our guys. After like uh, midweek you said like you wanted to see a little bit of offensive adjustments just from you know going from the lowest and scoring game of the season. I mean, you scored 18 goals in the first half. I think on only 25 shots on goal. Can you kind of talk about what you saw on that offense then? Yeah, I, I think that to me that's a credit to Notre Dame. You know, like it's a long trip out there. That's a really good team. They're super athletic, um, and they were they were tough, um, and they always are. Um, so. I think you look at all those opportunities as opportunities to grow and get experience. Um, and you hope teams like that prepare you for any of the other games. Um, for even for us, it's hard to replicate some of that athleticism and length they have. Um, so when you get another opportunity and maybe you're not quite up to that level, um, you know, it, it, the kids are like, okay, I feel maybe a little more confident. So that's why all those hard games against really good teams like Notre Dame, they do help you. I know that. Um during the week, you mentioned that you like to play out in the elements. You think it prepares your team better, but I know a lot of other Big Ten teams have facilities similar to this. Uh, do you think that maybe during future seasons, when it's cold outside, maybe you know we'll see some more games here at Jones Hill House? Um, I I think there's to me if it's if it's not dangerous, you know we kind of owe it to just playing outside. Uh, to me, it's just it's the creator's game. You know, it's um, you know part of the elements is what you gotta you know get prepared for and and you got to deal with it. I think we went long and hard with, you know, our facilities people, our administrators, our athletic trainer, um, just kind of, all right, is there a safety issue potentially? And that's what was hard about this week. It just seemed like the weather was, like every time we tried to navigate it, you know, we moved up and then it moved up. And then with the pattern we had, it was definitely going to be snow and rain, but the temperature dropped. So now you're looking at, a wet field with snow that now all of a sudden you're below 32 degrees um, and our 
our meteorologist in, on our team, Owen Murphy, did a really good job of updating <laughs> us most of the week to, to kind of some of the things that we, some of the challenges we might face. So I appreciate Owen doing a good job there. Uh, but just, uh, you know, kind of looking at all of it, I think we would have kicked ourselves if anybody on either team, maybe on a slick service, got hurt. Um, you know, kind of looking back, knowing we have a great uh, facility like this as a fallback. Um, and I, I'm thankful for football. They were super helpful, allowing us to come in here. Um, again, we have Coach Lox is awesome. And I think for most of the coaches here, we all do try to help each other out. And football came through big for us because I know they had some things and they allowed us to get in here. And again, for senior day to have parents in here, the elements are great, get their pictures in. Um, enjoy the game. I do think it was a, a pretty cool experience for them. And again, for these guys, what they've done. And you know, John's been here one year, but he's made a huge impact. Uh, you know, we wanted this day to be special, and uh, I know they'll have those memories and those photos that will conjure up some great memories. We've got Alex and John here. We've got questions for them. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. You have worn the graduate logo. You've rehabbed that knee. That's a heck of a Don Joy knee brace you have on there. Can you go over the process that brought you back to Maryland to go through the rehab to actually get on the field today? Yeah, so I mean, obviously you never want to get injured, um, and it's obviously really hard. I, I tore my ACL the uh, summer right after kind of the season ended. Um, my plan was always come back here to Maryland. Maryland has given me so much, and I don't think that we've finished the job that our class has come here to complete. So coming back with that goal in mind and having that goal in mind every time, you know, a step into rehab, treatment, and it kind of pushes it forward. And you know the end goal, so kind of the inconvenience of the hard work and all the grueling pain is, is it's kind of irrelevant because you want the end goal so badly. When did you get hurt? Uh, I told me to sell you earlier. Yeah. I have a question for either of you. So next weekend you guys are uh, playing Virginia, and I know that there's a lot of history between your team and Virginia, especially with the way that the season ended last year between you guys. What's the feeling of the team right now? What's the mindset going into that game? I mean, yeah, I wasn't here for that, um, so I, I haven't, you know, played in that in that rivalry yet. But I think it's just excitement. You know, and I, uh, they're a great team, and, and talked about it all year. Like when you're at Maryland, you want to play those big games. You want to play against the best team. So. I think it's just excitement. It's going to be a great college lacrosse game. It's going to be a really cool atmosphere. So I think it's just exciting. It's always kind of a lingering thought in your mind. Uh, we have, you know, something with you guys locker room that's you know score from last year's game, seven and six, that uh, really sticks out with us, and something that we look at, you know, every day before before we go to practice. Um, right now, I think the guys are just really appreciative and happy that we were able to get this game in. Um, and it's never, you know, a time to let down or look over, you know, a win or be appreciative of being able to compete. So you know, the guys really enjoy this and kind of get locked in. the emotions like for you guys walking through you know the tunnel of players student families on senior day what was that experience like for you guys? yeah it was awesome just uh i think gratitude is probably the biggest thing just you know i, I didn't have that experience last year but i uh, uh get to play so having my parents here today is pretty special and, you know it takes like phil said it takes a lot of administrators and, and people to get us on the field today and it takes a lot of parents and, and coach from our hometown and stuff like that to get us here as well so uh, for me it's just Thankful to Coach Tillman, thank you for, uh, for Maryland for, for giving me this experience and letting me have that senior experience today. And, uh, it was just awesome being able to go give my parents part of it. Uh, they've been here for every, pretty much every part of this uh, this journey for me, and, and they started it uh, a long time ago. So, yeah, just grateful for, for them and uh, thankful to get a win today and, and keep going for us I would echo that as well. Um, obviously, the guys that were here last year and graduated undergrad last year had their senior days um, and during kind of the pandemic and COVID. We weren't, you know, able to like kind of celebrate with our parents like we were able to today. So, you know, we kind of gave away last year on the field. Um, we didn't really have a ceremony or anything. So, I mean, it's really great to kind of see guys being able to celebrate with their families, guys that be able to celebrate with their parents that, you know, take every day because they're like really little cool kids. So, um, it's really important, and I would stress the concept as well as gratitude and everything. So, that'd be really good. Do one more. Uh, Jonathan, uh, after everything that happened to you, game came to the side game. Really started on the front foot of offense in that first quarter. Can you guys, can you just talk about like how you felt on the offensive side of the defense? 
Yeah, I think just trying to keep it simple. You know, I, I uh, last week I don't think it was the effort that we wanted, uh, given it was a great, great defensive team in game. So just wanted to come out and play hard. I think that was kind of the biggest thing, keep the ball moving. And, and I think we did that, and it, you know, we got some good bounces earlier. We shot, we shot better than we shot um, probably all year. And, I think our action man was pretty good. So just kind of a good all around effort, but I think it was just like intensity and focus to start the game and, and we're moving the, the ball and, and got some good bounces and really that kind of carried us. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.